Hello there from Portaventura World. I'm Scott. I'm Mark. Hopefully. And you're watching Your Experience Guide. We have literally just finished the media event for Uncharted, so this isn't where we would normally start a Portaventura vlog, is it? No, it's not. We'd normally start at the front. Yeah, we'd normally be stood next to the Woody Woodpecker Fountain. You'd hear all the theme music, but we just thought we'll just carry it on from here. So the first port of call today is going to be Stampeda, the dueling wooden roller coaster here. However, before we get to that, this vlog is probably going to be a lot shorter than the next vlog that we will do here because we don't have as much time in the park today as we will do tomorrow, let's say. So rather than trying to go around all the coasters, all the water rides, all the shows, we're just going to do basically see where the day takes us for now, aren't we? Yeah, we are, yeah. And then tomorrow we will cover like the best order to do the coasters, the water rides, probably the saloon show, probably the parade, whereas today it's going to be more about the coasters and any other rides that we can get in. So on the subject of roller coasters, let's go and do Stampede. on Stampeda, the blue side. Now, these uh, lanyards today are getting us straight up the exits of the roller coasters, which is probably a good thing, eh, Mark? I think it's got a two hour queue. Yeah, and I, a quick glance into the polls, the majority of them have got a two hour queue, so uh, but busy days will be needed. Yeah, so just want to extend a thank you once again to the PR and marketing team at the park that have not only allowed us to experience Uncharted today, but also to be able to come into the main park now with fast passes because they are definitely needed. It's a proper summer's busy day here. Anyway, I'm being all positive, so I'll let Mark carry on being positive about Stampede. So, uh, Stampede Blue side, st still as good as I remember. Honestly, it's fast, got air time, it's just an incredible ride. One that we're lucky to have in, in Europe because honestly, it's probably my favourite ride here, other than Uncharted. That is phenomenal. It really, really is. It's just, it's just so good to get back on it. You know, it was 2019 the last time I was here, but honestly, it's, it's aged like a fine wine. It is just incredible. Don't believe this trickster. <laughs> Do you not like to see it RMC? Or Gravity Group? or um, the 208 retract that Mind Blowers had or something like that? Yeah, something like that. I, w I wouldn't say no to the 208 retract on it. Well, man, got a group coming in and doing some doing some work, maybe some reprofiling of certain sections. Um, it'll just add to it. And I'll be honest, like, if they could get some new trains, yes, and also some baggage stories, so I don't have to take my bag on, it will be, I think you'd enjoy it a lot more because when you're taking your bag on, you, you're conscious that you, your stuff's going to fly out rather than enjoying yeah. the ride. I think there is a bit of that. There's no like, lockers nearby to the station. If, even if, let, let's do a bit of a spin it, spin it to win it. If we had some lockers somewhere around here, yeah. I'd happily pay for them so I don't have to take a bag on to Stampede. But for me, the layout is excellent. I've always said this, layout, excellent. The trains, they just kill it. That, that's the issue. I think it's because there's no padding on the seats and the lap bar just comes further and further and further and further down. And when you've got a bit of a gut like me, you, you really start to feel it halfway through the ride. So yeah, I, I don't I don't really dislike it. I just don't like the trains basically. But it is a very, very good coach in terms of the layout. Just I really wish you could pick the trains. But where we go from here, nobody knows. But we'll try and cover as much of the coast as possible. Next up then, it's going to be the legendary, or should I say the infamous, Furious Baco. Intamin's only wing launch roller coaster, opened in 2007. It's got a bit of a mixed reputation, let's say. Some people love it, me. Some people don't particularly like it. That'd be me. Should we do front row? Nah, let's do back row for the full experience. The full experience, like we did on Guderix? Yeah, the full experience. The full Furious Baco experience. If you say so. Let's go. just been off Fiori's Spacco. 
on the back row for the full experience. Whose idea was it, Mark? Mine. Did you enjoy it? Absolutely hated it. <laughs> I was always stunned by Baco as probably one of the best launches in the world. It does. And it, if it ended after that little dip after a launch, <laughs> it'd be fantastic. Well, it just went round, round into yeah, a brake run. Brake run, the end, because the rest of it, especially on that back row, God, honestly, it were awful. It was literally just bounce, 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 bounce. I, like a nightclub. Honestly, I hated it. Absolutely hated it. Do you know what? In the middle seat, it was bloody excellent at the back row. Should have gone in the middle seat, mate. Honestly, I think I'm broken. <laughs> Some say that Shambhala is the best roller coaster here. Some say it's the best roller coaster ever. Should we go on it and see how good it is these days? Yeah, it'd be nice to get back on it. Yeah. So the one thing that worries me about this coaster. Now I've been on Mako, same restraints. I've been on Diving Back, Orion. What's your Raging Bull, Raging Nitro. Bull, Nitro. Mako. No issues with the restraints. Whereas on this, for whatever reason, I've been told it's something to do with Spanish law. I don't know if that's true. If someone could help me in the comments, you have to be fully pinned in, regardless of your size, whether you're our size or uh, I don't know, say 10 year olds who could only just get on it. Yeah. It has to be pinned the same. So a bit 50 50 if uh, we'll get on it, aren't we? Well, we'll, but we'll give it a go. So we're going to go and do it now. And if we do manage to get on it, we'll let you know how it is. If we don't get on it, Andy could do the review. Two goes, haven't you? I've had two goes. First goal was a, a back row. And I, I don't know what it is sometimes with Shambhala. Like, you can hear it go down four clicks, you're like, right, I know this is green. And the ride up looked at me, yeah, I'm fat, but like, she looked at me like, no, four clicks is not enough, and jumped on the restraint. So I was like, well, great. <laughs> well, like, the, the, the thing with Shambhala is it's her time, but I literally can't move in the seat. No. So it kind of like ruins the experience a little bit. So it's like, I don't understand why that's necessary. If it's green, it's green. Yeah, and what I find odd is like, when you go on Mako, for example, as you'll remember for Halloween Horror Nights last year, in that kind of time that we were there, when you go on it, you pull the lap, door, lap bar down a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and then you see on the screen, on green, you leave it. The ride up comes, look at the screen, it's ended. Same on Silver Star. Yeah. Whereas here, for whatever reason, it's oh, your lap bar's green, have some more. Yeah. And it gets pushed down. Now luckily we did front row and they didn't do that. No, they quite didn't. lucky, but the toy was like basically, yeah, it's it's good to go. Yeah. Quite happy days. You know, I've got, I can shift a little bit around in my seat. Yeah. And, you know, you know what you're gonna get with your Time. An important question, was it superb air time? Just, just good air time. Just good air time, not good, superb not air superb. time. Obviously, it is flow to and I prefer it yet to, so it is just good air time. We don't talk about flow, that's when we got a bad stomach. But... <laughs> it's, it's just a fun experience, isn't it? You know, especially on the front row when you're going down the first row, we see. I'm through the water splash. Yes. Right, so, Dragon Card, excited? Absolutely no, no. <laughs> not excited at all. That's all for a full experience. Go on then. to Dragon Car, back row for the full experience. How was it? Not as bad, not as, bad as I remember from December 2019. Like, it was 
quite forceful. Yeah. Had a bit of a, a bash of it. But you know what? It wasn't as bad as I remember. I no. do it again on this trip. That, that says it all was like 2019, never going back on that thing again in that day. So <laughs> yeah, hey, it is. But today, I'll like, probably do it again tomorrow. How was it for you, Andy, at front? Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. A little bit bumpy in the transitions, but that was a bit. Good positive G's. Still prefer Kumba slightly more. Good coaster. I'll be honest, right? I've been on Dragon Car probably as much as anything here. And it used to be like incredible. It was so smooth, operations were amazing. There was nothing like head banging or anything. And then, like Mark says, 2018, 2019 kind of time, it was so rough and so unpleasant. Even though you went down the first drop and it's like, evacuate, let me off. Whereas now, I don't know what's different. Maybe it's because it's, maybe it's because it's summer, Mark, and not the winter. Maybe, like I said, like, it was a bit chilly on that December day when we came, but it bounced down that first drop. I remember saying it in the videos, like, yeah. it literally bounced down that first drop. And today, I was like, brace, 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 and didn't need to brace at all. No, because it was, it, it wasn't smooth, but it wasn't, wasn't uncomfortable. No, first time I've been on it in the summer, probably since 2017, and it's probably the best go on it I've had since 2017, so maybe don't, maybe just don't go on it in the winter. Yeah, don't go on it in December. It's very warm. We're gonna have an Andy Rumney moment. It's too too warm, and yes, it is this hot in Florida. Maybe hotter. We're currently taking a little break from the coasters and from the heat. We're sat in the shade. True Brits abroad, we can't handle the heat. It is a very, very, very warm day here in Port Ventura. We're not complaining. It's nice. It's better than it raining. So we're gonna take a break from the coasters. Go and have a go on the log flume. Maybe a go on the rapids. The park has got a lot quieter now because earlier on there was a lot of school and college trips here. It's, it's about four o'clock now, about four, yeah. half four in the afternoon, park's emptied. So the queues, especially for the water rides, are now a lot less than they were. So hopefully, we're going to go and get a go on the log flume next. Go on the log flume then. Been a while since I've been on this. soaking this log flume, always. human shield at the front of the boat here so you're all good in the back this second drop could be uh, quite brutal more weight in the boat that's why <laughs>
whatever happens, I'm going to get wet feet. There's no doubt about it. There we go. No, all good. I'm all good. Big soaker. Very dry for somebody that's been on the log fully, Mark. Just got away with it. Yeah, the wave totally missed me, so so lucky on that one. Yeah, must have been really, really soaking from sitting on the bench outside it. Yeah. How warm does it have to be for you to do a log flume? At least 30. It was great. In the uh, wonderful order of us doing things, we've gone from El Diablo to log flume. Had to go on the log flume. Now we're walking back to do El Diablo, but. We did need to cool down after going on there, uh, well just after being here to be honest, we've been uh, absolutely boiling all day. Mark's absolutely shattered now. So we're heading into the Mexico area of the park. Oh, whoa, hold on a minute. Very bottle tops. Somebody, best check, you know. Go Andy, on. will you go forward, check there's no bottle tops, please. Can't have we're clear. We're clear. clear. No bottle tops. No bottle tops. We've marked it safe from bottle tops. So if you're watching, Mike, you're all good. So we can finally go ice skating after all these years. There's not many arrow roller coasters in Europe. So where does El Diablo rank? One of the best. I tell you what, Ryan, it's better than Steve. Well. To be honest, it's not the best, and I think they could do so much with the, the land that it takes up. I now agree. And put something better in its place. No, I agree. Um, you know, back in the day, yeah, I can understand why you get what, what there is now. But like to this day and age, I think they can do so much more with that space. If you wanted another mine train, you could maybe go down the modern Bacoma route. Yeah, it'd look the same. Exactly. To be fair. It's just a transition to be better. Yeah. So yeah, it's all right. Good capacity. It's fun for families. Families are the target. It does what it needs to do, but they could do a lot more with this space. What's the plan? I have a lot of chill. Choo choo. 
all aboard. Last ride of the day for us today is going to be the Sesame Street Street Mission, which is another Sally Dart Rides attraction here at Port Ventura, as well as a new roller coaster, Uncharted. What are you expecting, Mark? I don't know what's that, honestly. I have seen nothing of this ride at all. Not seen any comments on it or any videos or anything, so I'm just going to go into it and uh, appreciate it for what it is. When I first did it in 2021, I, I'd heard it was good, heard it was a really good dart ride, but I thought, you know, Sesame Street, is it going to be appropriate? It's actually a lot of fun, so hopefully you enjoy it as much as everyone else does. Hopefully. If we go and do it, it's walk on. Yeah, I agree. Let's go. We've been on the Sesame Street uh, street mission. What do you think? I enjoyed that, you know. Trackless start ride. It's a, it tells a good story. You know, obviously it's interactive, and I wasn't expecting the uh, the chase through the through, through the, the castle. castle. Oh, it's good. You know, I genuinely feel as though you're moving forward and following it. And yeah, honestly, it does. It is so good. It's so well put together. It's a, it's a fantastic attraction that they put in. Another one that really likes it. Then I yeah. think Sally Dart rides absolutely smashed it out of the park with that that ride. I was going to call it a coaster. They did such a great job on it. But my little boy went on it, he's just been five when he did it. He loved it, he absolutely loved it. And he still talks about it now, three months later. It's a great ride and everybody enjoys it. Anyway, we're in Ferrari land. We are. Should we go and do Red Force? Yeah, why not? Let's go. Go on. It's been a pretty long day, hasn't it, Mark? It's been a long day. It's been a very, very good day. Thoroughly enjoyed my time here. Started with the Uncharted preview event. If you've not already checked that out, there will be a card somewhere in the top of the screen. We'll link to that video too. But of course, we've done Porto Ventura, select attractions really. Yep. Not everything, no shows, no parade. And then we've come into Ferrari Land, which you can now do because the park's open four till ten which is excellent to be honest it is highlights of the day mate uh, highlights of the day Stampeda fabulous Woody <laughs> uh, I'll be honest like Shambhala front row is, is is very very good really really enjoy it and you know what atmosphere has been good it's been good to come in and have a lap on on Red Force as well I think it open it later it helps it because when it was open alongside that, everyone just did a couple of rides and then carried on with the day in in, in, in the main park itself. Whereas like this, it's like, oh, I'll add it on for an extra tenner, I'll come in and I'll have some laps and then I'll go home, have happy days. And, you know, it's the busiest I've ever seen it, I think. But honestly, <laughs> overall, fantastically. Something that um, got mentioned in the Leesburg vlogs was, Scott, you never talk about pricing. so. To be completely honest, today in both parks, we've just been able to use the press pass, which we, I don't know where I put it, but we, were, we had that before. But before I knew we were on the preview event, I actually bought a two day ticket for Port Ventura, 66 euros, which gets me access to the main park for two days and Ferrari land one day. I think that when you consider what the prices are for parks at home, you know, 50 quid for some of the parks that we're very familiar with. I think 66 euros for two days and two parks. Can't go wrong with that, really. You can't really. And obviously, the opening hours from like 10 till 7, and you can come into here till 10. You get nearly get enough getting a 12 hour day. Yeah, um, absolutely. For, and two days for that price. What, 33 quid? Basically, 33 quid a, a day. Yeah. Absolute bargain. It is a bargain. So, we've got another Porto Ventura vlog to come. We've got, we're going to do the coasters again. In that one, we're going to show the order, aren't we? We're going to do it without Fast Pass. This is our recommended order that we do the coasters in. There'll be a bit of the shows. We'll talk about the food. Yep. Maybe some of the water rides as well. It has to be about 90 degrees for Mark to go on any water rides. 
and uh, if we get a chance we'll check out the merch and stuff but all in all the next day vlog will be a lot more in depth from Porto Ventura Park. Quickly before we go, Andy, Hi. first impressions on Porto Ventura? Really nice park, really enjoyed the day. The fast pass really made it worthwhile. 98 euros, it was still worth it because it just made the day much more enjoyable, not having to queue. So if the park is a little bit busy, I do recommend the express pass, it is worth it. And everything's been good really good day so in the main park what's your favorite coaster so far shambhala <laughs> i'm not going to ask you what your favorite is in uh, ferrari land it's clearly junior red force <laughs> oh definitely <laughs> <laughs> oh, red force is amazing yeah it is really good the, i wasn't sure what to make of it when i was first seen it but seeing it launch then getting on it fantastic recommend it to anyone the, if you can get on it you go on it there we have it. First time visitor, happy. What more can we say? Many thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time at Porto Ventura.